Applying interpersonal skills. Workplace etiquette. Etiquette means having good manners in your dealings with people. Always treat coworkers with respect and courtesy. When in doubt about how to behave, observe experienced and successful coworkers. Here are a few basic rules of etiquette that apply to all workplaces. Be courteous. Greet your coworkers when you come to work and address people by name whenever you can. Do not interrupt private conversations and do not talk so loudly that you disturb other people, especially those working near you. Avoid tying up equipment that other people may need to use. Dress appropriately. Whether or not your job has a dress code, you should wear neat, clean clothes. As a new employee, do not use your wardrobe or hairstyle to attract attention. Let your job performance speak for itself. Be punctual. Be at work on time. Arrive at meetings promptly and meet your deadlines. If you promise someone that you will call at a certain time, be sure to keep your word. Avoid gossip. Gossiping wastes valuable work time and can result in the spread of false or hurtful rumors. Respect privacy. Treat your coworkers' phone calls, faxes, email, and voicemail as you would treat private mail. Do not read or listen to them unless they are addressed to you. If you work in a quiet environment, keep your voice at an appropriate volume. Etiquette and your supervisor. You should treat your supervisor with the same proper respect and courtesy you do your coworkers. However, you face the added element of wanting and needing your supervisor's approval. Here are some things you can do to develop and maintain a good working relationship with your supervisor. Deal with any criticism from your supervisor in an objective and professional manner. Do not become defensive. Show initiative instead of bothering your supervisor with details that do not need approval. Whenever you can, offer to help your supervisor. If you have a work-related issue, discuss it with your supervisor. Be prepared to suggest your own solution. Conflict resolution. Even when coworkers practice good communication, conflict can still occur. A conflict is a strong disagreement that occurs when people have different needs or ideas. When conflicts arise in the workplace, you will have to decide how to deal with them. As a worker, you may find yourself involved in a process called conflict resolution, a problem-solving strategy for settling disputes and finding solutions that will allow each side to save face and create the least amount of ill feeling. The steps in conflict resolution include the following. Define the problem. Conflict resolution begins with defining the problem. For example, Employees may feel that the employer refuses to compensate or reward them for overtime, but still expects them to stay late. Both the employees and the employer need to explain their points of view. Suggest a solution. After defining the problem, each side suggests a solution to the problem. For example, the employer might suggest providing incentives such as quarterly bonuses or a free dinner. The employees may state they want to be paid wages for any overtime worked. Evaluate the solutions. Next, the parties have to evaluate different solutions. Both sides explain what they can or cannot agree with in order to find a solution. Both sides try to reach an agreement. This is the time to think creatively and brainstorm different ways to come up with a solution. Both sides probably will have to compromise, which means to give up something. Seek mediation. Sometimes the people involved in conflict resolution cannot reach a solution. They have to seek mediation. In mediation, a third party is asked to listen to both sides and try to find a solution. Seek arbitration. Sometimes even mediation fails and the parties have to seek arbitration. In arbitration, a third party is asked to hear the case, much like in mediation. In arbitration, however, both sides must agree to the solution the third party suggests. Conflict resolution focuses on the issues, not on the personalities of the people involved. You can prepare yourself for conflict resolution by practicing your communication and problem solving skills in school and in any disputes you may have with friends. Diversity in the workplace. The United States has always been a nation of diversity or variety in which each individual contributes something special. In most workplaces in America, many different kinds of people come together for a common purpose, to get a job done and to earn a living. Respect differences. Showing respect for differences in culture, religion, age, gender, and viewpoint can minimize conflict at work. 
It shows that you are part of a community of workers with common needs and goals. It is also a way to broaden your understanding and perhaps make some exciting discoveries as well. Overcoming Stereotypes To succeed in the diverse, global workplace, today's workers must look beyond stereotypes. A stereotype is an oversimplified and distorted belief about a person or group. Negative stereotypes can be harmful. Many businesses today sponsor diversity training programs to help employees overcome stereotyping in the following areas. Cultural distinctions. People from different ethnic backgrounds have different customs. What is polite in one culture may be rude in another, such as certain gestures or forms of address. It is important to remember, however, that cultural blunders happen, even among those who have the best intentions. Learn by reading and observing, and apologize if you are unintentionally impolite. Gender distinctions. Effective co-workers have mutual respect for one another regardless of gender. Remember that it is wrong and illegal to harass or discriminate against someone because of his or her gender. Generational distinctions. People of one age group sometimes feel they have little in common with people in other age groups. As a young person, your point of view may differ from that of older people. You can bridge any difference in opinion by listening carefully to the other person's point of view and finding ideas on which you can agree. By keeping an open mind and treating people fairly, you will pave the way for smooth working relationships based on mutual respect.